Welcome back pranksters! So in my last video I showed you 20 genius ways to sneak food and candy into class. Well in this video I'm gonna step it up a little bit more and show you 25 more ways to cleverly sneak your favorite snacks into class using everyday school supplies. But before we get started with that I want to announce the winner of my last giveaway. Congratulations Max Pertong! Just like the previous winner, Jake Lord, you will be getting a box full of snacks that you can easily sneak into class. As far as my next giveaway, well actually it's two giveaways this time. The first one will guarantee a box full of snacks to the first winner, but if this video manages to get 10,000 likes before June 30th, 2019, I will give away a PlayStation 4. And this is based on my latest poll and you guys chose a PlayStation 4 over an Xbox One. Well anyway guys, to participate is very simple. Just leave a like on this video and a cool comment below telling me which one of these hacks was your favorite and why. Remember to try to stand out as much as possible. Here are some of the winners from past giveaways. Again, the PlayStation 4 giveaway begins as soon as this video gets 10,000 likes. Just leave a like and a comment on this video to enter. Also, I recommend that you guys subscribe and have your notifications on. That way you guys can find out sooner whether you won or not. Good luck to all that participate. And now, let's get started with these hacks. Let's sneak this push pop into class by passing it off as a glue stick. Let me show you how to do that easily. Start by removing the wrapper from the push pop. For those who don't know what a push pop is, it's just a big piece of candy inside a container that's retractable. It comes in and out of the container when opened. You'll have to remove the label from the glue stick as well, but if you do this, be extra gentle as you don't want to damage the label because we are going to wrap it around the push pop. With a cutting tool, remove the rotating wheel from the bottom of the glue stick. You'll have to stick that to the bottom of the push pop, so use glue for that. You'll also be switching out the caps, so place the glue stick cap onto the push pop. At this point, you're done guys. These look identical and no one will be able to tell that one of these is not a real school supply, but rather candy. You'll fool everybody. A Slim Jim makes for a good snack, so here's how you guys can eat some while in the classroom without getting caught. First, get yourself a pen or a marker that has a cap and remove it as you are going to place it onto the Slim Jim, but first trim off some of that wrapper so it does not get in the way. As far as the Slim Jim, it's too long, so you are going to have to cut it to size so it passes off as a pen or a marker. Just keep it with other school supplies and when you get hungry, simply peel back the wrapper and you will be able to enjoy your Slim Jim in class. I'm not sure if there's any better snack to sneak into class than chips, so get yourself the biggest bag of chips that you guys can find and sneak it into class inside your backpack. Before class, when no one is looking, take out the bag and open it. With tape, we are gonna hang it underneath our desk. I gotta say though that tables work better for this, but pretty much anything will do. You can easily be eating your chips during class, just reach underneath your desk and grab some chips. This one is for you athletes out there. Take the cheapest plastic sports bottle that you guys can find and slice it in half with a blade. Always be careful though when handling sharp objects as you guys don't want to cut yourselves, right? Once you have split the bottle in two pieces, on the bottom half you are gonna fill it with your favorite snacks. For example here, I'm gonna sneak in some Oreos. Now as far as the top portion of the bottle, just put a Kool-Aid pouch inside. Make sure to insert the straw in and position it through the sipping hole on the cap. And then just twist it on tightly. As for the bottom, keep the pouch in place with some tape. Now join both pieces together and you guys can keep them in place using an elastic wristband, which again is something an athlete would have. So while in class, you guys can enjoy your Oreos by sliding over the wristband and you guys can wash these down by taking a sip from your Kool-Aid pouch. This is pretty much a 2-in-1 type of hack. Here's another hack using a large glue stick. Start off by removing the actual glue from inside. At this point, it should be completely empty inside, but not really guys, as you guys still have that little plastic spiral in the center. So what I'm gonna do here is remove it with my trusty Dremel. This will also cause the rotating wheel on the bottom to detach from the glue stick container. Don't worry though, this can easily pop right back in. With a knife, cut off a big chunk from the stick of glue. Wrap some tape around it to make it extra snug because this will go back into the container but please do not push it all the way in. 
As far as the bottom, there is an opening where you guys can fill it up with some nerds. Now, if you guys don't like nerds, try to find other small candy that will fit inside. Once filled, apply some tape on the rotating wheel. This will help keep our candy inside. Pop it in and we are done guys. What I like about this hack is that the glue stick will still work as a regular stick of glue. So no one will suspect anything. But when your cravings for sugar kick in, simply undo the bottom and enjoy your candy. This method never fails. Here we're gonna sacrifice a large binder you no longer need. Now this particular one is 2 inches in height. With a blade, cut around the bottom corner till you have detached the bottom. Make sure that the top portion contains the rings because we will have to tape it down to the bottom portion. So at this point, we basically created a flap that we can open and close as we wish. How about we open up a bag of chips and stick them inside? Sounds good, right? Well, let's do that. See, nothing to see here, but when you guys get hungry, just lift up the flap and your chips will be right there at your disposal. Close it back up when you sense your teacher is coming. You will never get caught. Let's sneak some candy into class using a sticky notepad. First, remove a thin layer of notes from the pad. Basically, what we're gonna do here is cut out the center of the sticky notes. For example, here I'm gonna get rid of this big square that I traced on there. So with a blade, do just that. Just make sure to leave the bottom intact. This can be time consuming, but it's totally doable. Should look something like this, guys. Now, you guys can add your favorite candy inside, and I'm gonna go with some Reese's Pieces. Cover your tracks with more sticky notes, and you're done. Just lift up the notes when you guys want to get yourself some candy. If you wear glasses to school, then this will actually pay off as you guys can use the case for your glasses to sneak some M&Ms into class. Simply take out the glasses and dump as many M&Ms as you guys can fit inside. Of course, make sure that the case is actually clean. Now close it up and just keep it handy on your desk. You'll know where to get your candy next time you start craving it while in class. Take an ordinary size glue bottle and remove its cap and nozzle by twisting it off. It's best if there's already glue in there as it'll make it look more realistic. Cover the top with a piece of plastic wrap and with your finger push it in as much as you can. I'm gonna fill it up with some nerds. This is why I love nerds, they pretty much fit anywhere. So now you guys can twist the cap back on and remove the plastic wrap that sticks out by cutting it off with a blade. No one would ever imagine that you have some nerds inside this glue bottle. I was really surprised at the amount of nerds that I was actually able to put inside this bottle. Just enough to calm anybody's hunger for a little bit. This right here is a black plastic folder that I'm gonna use to sneak some pop tarts into class. Begin by making a cut on the edge of one of the pockets. This will create a flexible flap. Open up the wrapper where the pop tarts come in and tape it to one of the pockets using clear tape. Close it up to hide them and that's all there is to this. You can easily slide out a pop tart from the side of the pocket. If you're careful, you should be able to get away with this. The point here is to not get caught. Here I have a combo for you guys. Some Takis and a juice box and we are gonna enjoy these while in class with the help of a crayon box. Let's open up the box and remove all the crayons from inside. We want this box to be completely empty for our snacks. It's best if you insert the straw into the juice box for faster access. Now put it inside the crayon box and just adjust the straw so it does not get in the way. Open up the bag of Takis and start to fill up the rest of the crayon box with them. You should be able to put a large quantity in there. This amount works for me. Close up the crayon box and keep it on your desk while you're in class. When your hunger hits you, just open up the box and you'll have some chips and some juice to enjoy. It's just as simple as it looks guys. I've always said this, you should never be hungry while trying to learn. If you just can't get enough of these hacks that involve nerds, well here's another one. For this instance, we are gonna use a pencil and a straw to help us out. Make sure that the pencil can easily go into the straw, but at the same time, we want it to be super snug. Basically, what we're gonna do is cut off the tip of the pencil. We just need the lead part. Be careful when doing this, as you will need to use a sharp object to achieve this. Once you have cut it off, push it inside the straw. If you need to wrap tape around it to make it snug, please do so. 
Now this particular straw is too long, so we are gonna trim it a bit, so use another pencil as reference. You can easily scoop up some nerds with the straw. Do this repeatedly until the straw is completely full of nerds. To cover up the top, there is nothing better than an eraser cap. So place it on and we are done guys. The pencil will work and look like a regular pencil, but only you know that there's nerds inside. So help yourself to some to combat your hunger. Let me show you a really cool supplies case I found at the dollar store. It is ideal for sneaking all kinds of snacks into class. It's already see through but if I open it you guys can clearly see that I have nothing but school supplies in there right? Well what I like about this case also is that I can flip it over and on the bottom there are more compartments for the supplies. So instead of using them for whatever they're intended for I'm gonna sneak some food into class. For example some cheese sticks and ketchup. I'm going to close this up and flip it over. So it'll sit on my desk looking like a regular case of supplies but when I get hungry all I have to do is flip it over and open it. My cheese sticks will be right there waiting to be eaten. So if you want one of these cases I'm sure that you guys can find them at your local dollar store or online. You may not believe this but a stick of deodorant such as this one is quite common in school especially inside a student's backpack. So let's use it for something other than hygiene. As you just saw I pulled out the bar from the inside as we need this to be completely empty. Now we have ourselves a secret compartment. So I'm gonna put some candy inside. I recommend that you guys clean the inside but regardless as long as the candy is covered with a wrapper you are good. Just keep the deodorant handy inside your backpack. I've said this time and time again, Pepsi is my favorite soda and I want to sneak some into class but there is no way that I can be seen with a Pepsi can by my teacher. But luckily I found this pencil case at the dollar store and when I first saw it I knew that it would come in handy for this hack. This particular pencil case has absolutely no openings so that is perfect. I will make sure that there aren't any leaks by wrapping the long end with some tape so when I pop the top on it's super snug and leak free. At this point I can begin to pour my Pepsi inside the pencil case. You guys can actually get a good quantity in there. Close it up and we're done. Keep it in your backpack and when you guys get thirsty take it out for a sip of Pepsi or pretty much anything that you guys decide to pour in there. A toilet paper roll isn't exactly a school supply but if you pretend to have a cold then your teacher would understand why you have a roll on your desk. So here's what I suggest you guys do. Tear off a piece of toilet paper and ball it up. We are gonna shove it inside the roll. Leave it barely sticking out. I decided to add some M&Ms inside the roll but of course you guys can get creative and add anything that will fit in there. To cover our tracks we are gonna ball up another piece of toilet paper and cover our candy with it. You'll have easy access to your M&Ms and the best part is that no one will go near your roll of toilet paper as they will be scared to catch your cold so your candy will be safe. For this next method we're gonna need a cheap bottle of glue such as this one. We need it to be empty so let's get rid of the glue that's inside. I recommend that you guys dump it into a sandwich bag as we don't want to waste any of this glue. It might come in handy later. Once empty take it to the sink and rinse it until it's super clean. On the back of the glue bottle we are gonna make a few cuts to create a flap for easy access to the inside. Open it and fill it with candy. I love Kit Kats so that's what I'm gonna be putting in there. Keep this bottle with other school supplies so it blends in. You'll know where your Kit Kats are once your stomach starts to growl. Some teachers are cool enough to let you have some cough drops with you while in class especially when you're sick. So why not use that to your advantage. All you basically gotta do is swap out the cough drops with actual candy that's the same shape and size. So just undo the wrapper and get rid of the cough drops. In its place just add a piece of candy and wrap it up. Do this to as many cough drops as you can and you'll have enough candy for your sugar cravings. What I have right here are two identical paper bags. On one we're gonna cut out the bottom. Basically here where I have these markings. And as far as the other bag, on the lower end of the bag we are gonna cut out a window from the side. You can easily do this with a pair of scissors or blade.
this is what they should look like. Now we're gonna join them together by sticking the one that has the cutout into the one that we removed the bottom from. The ends should align pretty well. My choice of snacks for this demonstration will be a bag of Hot Cheetos Extra. So I'm just gonna dump it inside. Roll up the bag and keep it closed with a piece of tape. If you want to really play it off, you might want to write something on it such as a science project to avoid any suspicion. Leave the bag on its side and while you're in class, simply slide the bottom out as if it was a drawer and your chips will be right there. You can easily push the bag back inside if you think somebody's watching you. This stack of washi tape rolls I got at Walmart and yes, this can pass off as a school supply. What I like most about this is the plastic container it came in. If we open it, the inside is pretty much hollow so there's room in there for snacks. Also if you notice the bottom and the lid are both covered by labels which is perfect for this. I'm gonna stick some chocolate bars inside such as Twix and Kit Kats. Last step is to close it up. Keep this with other supplies and just resort to it when you get hungry. This next idea is for you artistic people out there. If you love to draw or paint, this is perfect for you as you will need small canvases. Preferably you'll want to have some drawings or paintings on them such as these right here. We're basically gonna stack our canvases back to back. Of course we will be using tape to keep them together but just on one side so it will be able to open like a book. There's enough space in there for a couple pairs of pop tarts. Just lay them inside. To keep it closed, you guys can use a binder clip. This will not look suspicious at all. When you guys are ready to eat your pop tarts during class, just open it up. The next hack is very clever, but you will need to get two pencil boxes such as these two right here. They don't necessarily have to be the same color, just the same size and shape. On one, I'm gonna add some hot Cheetos inside, but only on one side as the other side is reserved for my Takis. Once you get enough chips in there, close it up. I really like the lids for these pencil cases as they are see-through which is what's gonna help us out a lot. Undo the lid from the other pencil box and place some supplies inside. Flip over the box with the chips and pop it into the lid that has the supplies. Use tape to keep both lids together. This is what it should look like. From a bird's eye view it'll look like a regular pencil box with supplies inside but if you open it the right way you will have complete access to your chips. If you have a bag full of multicolored rubber bands, you guys can use it to sneak some of your favorite snack size candy into class. Simply take out half of the rubber bands that are inside and then stash your candy in there. Cover it up with more rubber bands until the candy is no longer visible. No one will suspect that within the bag there are more than just rubber bands. There's actual candy in there too. When you look at a glue gun, you wouldn't see it as a school supply. That is until you get to art class and you need it to glue a few things together. So here's how you guys can use a cheap $1 glue gun to sneak some candy into class. What I'm doing here is opening up this glue gun. You can do that by loosening up the screws. Once you pry it open, this is what the inside looks like. We're gonna remove all the electrical components to make room for our candy. My choice of candy here are some M&M's Minis. Once you have enough candy in there, just put everything back together. Just pop it open next time you guys want some candy. This last method is similar to one we just did, but it's different in a few ways. You will need two pencil boxes of the same size, shape, and colors such as the ones I have right here. These are also see-through. One of the pencil boxes we are going to cut in half and use the bottom portion for this hack. You can easily stack the other box on it and it still leaves a nice gap underneath which we can fill up with chips such as Takis. Add as much as you can in there and then simply place the box on top. From a bird's eye view or pretty much any angle it looks pretty good and no one should be able to get suspicious about this box especially if you have plenty of school supplies in there such as crayons. You can easily access your chips by lifting up the top box. It's a very clever way to eat snacks while in the classroom. There you guys have it, 25 creative ways to sneak your favorite snacks and candy into the classroom using everyday school supplies without getting caught. At the start of this video I did mention that I had two giveaways, including a PlayStation 4 giveaway. That giveaway starts once this video gets 10,000 likes. Again, if you wish to participate, all you have to do is leave a like on this video and also a cool comment that stands out. I will choose a winner randomly, so don't hesitate and enter this giveaway now. I'll see you guys in my next video.